Hi everybody, here's Christian from Trace5. This video has a long intro, so without further ado, enjoy. And we are back. I'm still Christian. And I am Evil Gas. And these, uh, these are the finals, the actual finals of the top cut of German Nationals. And it is an exciting finals that we're gonna see now. Very much, which, oh, I don't know about exciting. I'm scared. This is scary finals. This is scary, scary finals indeed. So this is going to be uh, Heinzel playing the Andromeda on the right and against Christopher Shimko playing IG Infusion. I'm putting one euro on IG. Hey, wait a minute, is IG Infusion? No, it's just IG. It's not AG Infusion. I'm com com confusing the two IDs. Yes, it's just IG. It's Industrial just IG. Genomics. Industrial Genomics is the right term. I'm, pretty, I'm so sorry. Um, so this is exciting because Heinzel already has been the German champion once, right. two years ago. And he's, he's coming as the winner. Has he? So yes, he, he, has, to be beaten twice. he has the easier time. If he wins yeah. with Andromeda now, he will be a second time champion, German champion. Wow. Well, I think he's. I think he'll. I'm going to say he's going to lose this one. I, I, I because the matchup is bad. Because of the bad matchup, mm. and then that's good for us because we get another matchup next one after this one. That's true. On the other hand, um, I think Shimko already lost against Heinzel, and it might have been actually this matchup. Oh right. Um, and also Christopher Shimko is. Uh, I, I have like emotional attachments to both of those players. Yeah. So Heinzel on the one hand, of course, a very beloved player and you know very popular player, uh, and also one successful player because he already was um, champion once. But also Christopher Shimko, a relative newcomer to the to the Cologne meta. So I, of course, I want to see him take the trophy home, and also I want to see those players play as much as possible yes. because it's so exciting. Absolutely. Well, it's good to see such nice guys in the final, isn't it? You, you know, you can't help root for both of them, really. Yes, uh, they, um, they, there could have been a lot of, there could have been a lot of people who could have made it in the top cut, but there are two really good choices here. Uh, of course, again, we have to apologize about the not family-friendly play mat. I mean, I had to pixelate out some some, <laughs> yeah, some yeah, parts here. Yeah. Shout out to the Spanish meta who with their dirty, dirty minds and dirty uh, sharpies. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. All right. So we've seen Milligans. So what's that, what? Before they begin, what are the abilities of uh, IG again? So IG uh, increases the trash cost of cards by one for every card that's faced down in archives. Mm. Of course, Andromeda starts with an amazing nine cards hand. So you get a good start, but you really need a good start. So I think Andromeda might have, say, one film critic, which will be useful for stealing fetal AIs and that sort of thing. But you do only have one in the deck, so. Yeah. You're kind of hoping for that nine card draw to give you the key pieces you need to get going. Christopher early going with an early overdraw with Jackson and then installing something in front of. Wait oh, a minute. Changing his mind. Is, isn't an anti account siphon installed better here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, a, that's probably yeah. a good idea here. And then discarding one card. Now, this is a bad matchup for Andromeda. Why? Uh, because there's no recursion for cards, so once you've lost them, they're gone, you're not going to levy back your deck or anything like that, and the IG deck's all about doing net damage and basically just destroying your entire deck and your hand and everything, mm -hmm. and you're left trying in the street. Um, so there's not a lot of cards that you've got in your deck as standard with Criminal that are good for this matchup, so you generally don't have cell set slums to get rid of that, um, things permanently. Yeah. Um, you, you maybe have a film critic that you've got, but you've only got one of those, that sort of thing. Um, and there's not... Wow! Oh, random, random house of cards, which l makes makes me think that maybe there is too many agendas on hand. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think maybe that um, your con colleague thought he was going to overdraw and then remembered siphon last minute and so yeah. to make a bad choice in the end. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, probably. Well, I mean, he did take Mulligan, so so maybe Mulligan had a slightly bad card hand. Let's see about that. Yeah. Something that I, I always, as an Andromeda player, I always I'm cognizant of like. In this kind of matchup where there's a lot of net damage, it might be a good idea to, if you're playing Rebirth, to Rebirth into a Steve. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Steve is good. If, if you have, if you folks, back, yeah. if your uh, folks out there not, not even know what ID I'm talking about, there is an ID called Steve. Steve Cambridge, and he's pretty good. Yeah, it's from the Terminal Directive box set, right? Yes, exactly. The Steve is the kind of ID where you run on HQ, and then you can record one of the two account sessions that you already played. Yeah, you basically offer the corp two cards, and then remove one from the game, you get the other one. Yeah, you can. I think you can have five or six account sessions with Steve. Five, I think, was the number. Yeah, and importantly for this matchup, where you're going to be losing cards, it allows you to get some of them back. Yes, so yes, exactly. Good. Especially getting a hand size. I actually lost with playing as a reborn Steve. I lost against the. Uh, 
net damage deck, only because I forgot my ability. Ah. I forgot to trigger it. Uh. <laughs> and then I ran to the snare, and it was very sad, because I'm an idiot, but not Heinzel. So uh, some of the problems you've got with um, with criminal as well is that you might only have uh, one or two of each kind of breaker, so if you're taking net damage, you'll lose breakers through your hands. You kind of have to get your breakers on the board, yes. so you don't lose them forever, so yes. that, that slows you down. You uh, have to get them out, yes. Uh, and as you can see, all the IG does here is piling more and more cards into archives, making everything super expensive to track. So, do we know where the where the Tomogenius has been installed on? Uh, I think it was R and D because that was the only, the only open server. Mm -hmm. So I've got to guess it was R and D. So that's a big of a problem. Of course, the uh, idea of of uh, Andy is making money by running on servers. Yeah. So actually, IG infusion can be actually problematic um, uh, for for IG for the corp because they have to create those open servers to to threaten the, the runner. And these are of course an ability uh, thing that uh, they're uh, the criminal can run on to make money. Yeah, it can be, but the thing is with IGs, you can start pointing out the sort of must trash assets. So Gut Moon here is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, normally that you just run and kill that definitely, but now with the cards that IG have got in archives, it's going to cost maybe about seven or eight credits to trash Moon. Yeah. So even with the intermediate money, it's, it's suddenly very expensive. And of course Moon could just get popped anyway, but yeah. um, hostile infrastructures will come out. Ah, uh, uh, things like that. So I think now IG is starting to recover a little bit here with the turtlebacks. Gets yeah. one credit for every install, so this is going to be really good. Uh, Aeneas Informants, I think, a really good choice here. Um, because that gets, gets him credit every time he access a card, he doesn't trash, but he could. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, very good in the Moons matchup as well, because they tend to have a lot of assets out. So yeah. once you've got three Aeneas, um, you can run with Desperado and get four credits for free. And of course, uh, we see Blue Moose as well. Yes, the famous Blue Cheese mm. Moose. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good for getting economy, but bad for the Steve Cambridge plan if you want to try and recover some cards. All right. So at some point we're going to have hostile infrastructures, so it takes you take net damage to trash things, and then you gather bioethics, which will do net damage every turn unless you go and trash it. Wow, and that's the career for into um, Aaron Merrin. Now Aaron Merrin is the thing, one thing that could uh, make uh, the criminal runner really, uh, uh, you know, keep the, run, the criminal runner in the game here. Yes, because that's kind of like you get the to tokens on this, and then the, these are potential card draws that you can trigger whenever you actually need them, or whenever you think you might actually be dead. Yeah, and it's. Particularly Particularly important for things like Genetics Pavilion, where the runner can only draw two cards per turn, but that counts for their turn and the corpse turn as yes. well. So, um, so they can wait until the corpse turn, then use the air encounters to draw up there as well. So yeah. that keeps the hand size nice and uh, high. Yeah, so you can draw up to four cards in, in spite of the Genetics yeah. Pavilion. Yeah, exactly. So there's uh, friends in high places Good being installed, and then now Moon gets a lot of stuff. I'm wondering why, why um, Heinzel didn't run on that Moon. Uh, probably looking at the cost to trash it and mm. thinking that. You know, he, he, he wasn't going to be happy either way. He like. doesn't really have too much money, and he probably wants to set up uh, other stuff first. I really like the, um, the um, uh, Earthrise Hotel here because I think that's a really important card to get out as Andy, I feel, to, to, you need to keep up the pieces. pressure. Yeah. You need to draw on those cards. So he, Andy can do a lot of pressure, but those cards need to be drawn first. And it's easy to forget to draw stuff and just starve yourself out. Yeah. So as a, if, if you run the moon, it could just get popped. So you, you, know, you waste the click, and if it doesn't, you're in a bad instead of having to spend a lot of money to get rid of it. So there's Mongoose get, getting out, so that's good against any kind of like the, um, net damage kind of ice if you encounter it. But of course, we still have to be cognizant that there is stuff like um, DNA Tracker. Yeah, and with four counts on main, that's eight credits just waiting to be taken. Just a random poke on R&D here. Shimkon doesn't res. Huh. That's okay. He probably wants to keep the moon alive, doesn't want to spend maybe the money. He maybe saw it on R&D. I don't know why he just decided to just randomly run there. Well, quite often you get your agendas from R&D. It's where they are, so you, you, you tend to pop there a little bit and try and score some stuff. Yep. Hmm. What to do now? Trashing the Jackson. Second Jackson being just trashed. Interesting also paying like the high trash cost though, because we don't quite see. Oh, there is a counter there. There is two, three cards in, in this card pile. Looks like it, yeah. So, I mean, Jackson going away is fine because you've got friends in high places and you can just pull them back later on when you wish. That's true, that's true. Hmm. It looks like he's got another Jackson in hand as well, so... So it's inter uh, interesting, like, the board set is building up for, for Christopher Shimko and that's kind of like an important aspect, like, IG is the kind of deck that gets better and better the longer you play it, yeah. the longer you the game goes on. Yeah, absolutely. And Andy is kind of like the opposite, she's kind of like a 
runner that wins early. If you can apply early pressure and don't get the runner, the corporation to build up, then you can maybe um, win win before some, something bad happens. Yeah, quite often the criminal game plan is getting the early access, get some early agendas, and then just sniping a, another one later on. And just going like, you know, balls to the walls and just getting the final agenda out from some crazy runs. But that's not not possible here. Um, Heinzel try is being more careful here. And uh, goes. it has to go slower. Yeah, and then you've got to remember that anything on the board here could be a nice juicy asset, it could be an agenda, it could be a snare, psychic field, could be anything. The second turtles means Shimko probably will never have any problems with money again. He's going to be fairly rich. Hmm. And more cards into archives. Hmm. Discarding a lot of stuff, uh, and so the the dial there will get turned up. He showed us a lot of cards here. Yeah, that's about six, six, maybe, five uh, or six. Seven. seven. I think it's seven. It might be a seven. So yeah. Hmm. The hotel runs out. Film yeah, critic. critic. That's so that's good. very useful. Yeah. Yeah, it helps against the Obakata protocol or um, Future Perfect. Yeah, or Fetal. Or a Fetal. That's true. Running on archives, making sure that these cards that have been discarded there are actually. Um, okay, so that's a Cortex Light, which will cost five with Mongoose to break. It's expensive. There's not too much installed right now. There's even a uh, Desperado, but it's good that it's, it's it's a century because it could have been so much worse. Yeah. It, it can quite often be a Crick or something like that. It just puts another card back into play again. I like that it's a card that late game is, will, will do nothing, so Shimko will probably uh, eventually have to replace it with something or yeah. beef it up with somehow. And oh, there's the shot. The oh, oh, he's, he's left an agenda in there. Okay. Uh, I think I want to be scoring it raw. Because he will get the Aaron Maron counters if he does. So he loses two uh, two cards now, but he can get them back with Aaron Maron. And he's just. Really yeah, okay. yeah. Fine. That's probably a good choice. The Aaron Maron counters are important. Yeah. And if he doesn't have to too many too good cards. Hand, oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Never that's mind. That's the sort of thing I was a little Never bit Never mind. About. So there's probably still another card get back. Wait, that was the only one, or did you pull two? Oh, that was a shock. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. The, the Fiddly Eye doesn't work from Arkham. It archives? doesn't fire from Arkham. Oh, okay. So it's such a shock. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I, I, am, I, I was silly there for a second. Okay. So getting credits. I guess uh, runs running on one of the cards and not, not trashing them. So we get three credits per run. That's pretty good economy that's pretty engine. Good. Uh, and that's where you'll uh, eventually put a Temujin. So you'll. Yeah, and then, then you it get, gets really you get interesting. Seven, yeah. You get seven, and you can get ten, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So. Something that I find odd is that um, Hansel just ran on archives to eliminate the ability of IG, mm -hmm. but it, then he didn't follow it up with a trash. No, well, he had to spend five to get through the Cortex lock, which left him really low on credits. Mm -hmm. um, so you could go and run a turtle back, I guess, but then you'd have to two credits. And so maybe that was his original plan all along, but he wasn't able to follow through with the plan because the ice that was installed was actually more substantial than he thought. Yeah, that's, that's what I reckon happened. Hmm. Um, he's tried to book R&D, but uh, little old quandaries kept him out. All right. And with a passport having gone to shock, that's a bit annoying. Running currently at 3D. Agenda points. Um, the corp is at zero, but that actually doesn't matter because no. that's not something that the corp tries to do. Scoring out is not something that we're going to see probably with from Christopher. No, he might score some House of Knives if he can, but yeah. apart from that, he doesn't really care. Then just a bunch of installs here, uh, getting a lot of counters on the moon. Yep, and two credits per install with the turtlebacks as well. All right, finally getting the blue moon stuff. That's, nice. uh, that's a good one. Inversificator. Oh, there's actually he actually ran on the R&D, and that was a um, quandary. Yeah. And this is great. He can now switch the, the cards around, and he can potentially do a, just an account siphon right there. Yeah. Yeah. Access one card. Nothing important. But getting credits for this. Guys, to make your money, which goes. And there we there go. There we go. Da, that's the Andy we love. So there's a potential chance that he might raise loads of assets here to yeah. mitigate, but I think it'll probably just like But this, the discredit amount, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. If you're down to five or so, then you can maybe think about this, but if you have so many credits. The question is, like, uh, if 
uh, yeah, the council already decided to use up the, his Iron Man to remove the, um, the tags and draw more cards. Which is a bit bad because he doesn't have the tokens later to draw cards. But on the other hand, like the um, tags will mean that Shrimp could trash some of the resources and they're actually quite valuable. Yeah. They're, he's, they're keeping him in play. Yeah, he can't keep the tags, so... Yeah. And also money, like being super rich against IG might be also a good choice because you can, you can maybe just trash something that's expensive to trash, you know? Yeah. And it goes and trashes. Uh, oh, Ooh, yeah. there is a res of the bioethics. I thought it indicated they trashed the turtlebacks there, but it doesn't seem to have happened. Mm. And then okay. there is um, there is um, uh, startups installed, uh, being res to install a uh, um, hostile infrastructure. Hostile infrastructure. Yeah. So now anything trash costs a damage as yeah, well. Yeah. Now now trashing becomes a bit problematic. Um, I d once even one hostile infrastructure is usually <laughs> enough to to discourage me. It's to, very discouraging. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, something you can do still do is account siphon, so they can they rest the hostile infrastructure to get rid of the money, and then at least they're down at zero credit, so you can maybe check the, some of the other eyes. Maybe there's some some agenda sitting sneakily. Yeah, I mean the thing to remember is that moon's there as well with three counters, so that's six credits just waiting to go anytime. That's true. So you can afford to get siphoned and then. That is absolutely true. Okay, so the. It's decided the code gets a bad idea now. That yeah, it just, it the quantity is more of a liability than actually doing anything. So let's remove this for now. And installing more stuff, the moon getting bigger and bigger. Okay. Now this is a bit of a problem here because just one bioethics is not going to lose you, lose the game for you. But it will remove all those important cards that you really need to win this game. So you have to actually trash it. But then hostile infrastructure. Blah 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 blah. blah. Now here's the question. There's a run on hustle infrastructure. Yeah, I think he was that. It's going to get rest to get him this. But it's five credits just gone, you know? Yeah, uh, that's fine. But he gets two credits every time he installs something from those turtle backs. Yeah, then, so. yeah, yeah, you have to get rid of the bioethics. It's expensive, but it's an important. It, it's, it gives him a lot of time. Yeah, you have to clear them because otherwise you'll just bleed out. And meanwhile, looking for, I guess, his paper clips. That's the only thing he needs. And then he can start being, being really aggressive. Yeah. And that hot hell will help him out with that. Indeed. And it's, it's free clickless draw every turn, which is great against IG. Yes. Okay, we don't care about that too much. Hmm. Tough situation for Shimko. I think Heinzel knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, I'm still favoring IG at this point. Absolutely. Especially since now there's a <laughs> second uh, Biotex out. So I spot the moon, probably hoping to get another hostile or to see a friend to get back the Biotex and hostile. Yeah. He's uh, got some more money back up. Uh, he's, I think he's drawn a shock there so that I can go into yeah. the archives. Yeah, get those shocks to. in there. I dread this little period before the rotation where you can have both shocks and this is the um, stone breach, breach dome. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to play that game. Yeah, there's several cards I only put in my decks for this tournament, and then I remembered that the last data pack's down the console. So. <laughs> That's good. That's but such a relief. Like, it could have been an expensive trip. <laughs> oh yeah, very much. <laughs> oh, you can fly play by the, the way. Uh -oh. yeah. burp, burp, burp. So there's the, there's another thing installed, and actually, if you pop the moon. And it's starting even more. I guess the moon draw draw him so many cards. He has so much stuff. Yeah, I want to play some stuff out. And get some credits from this. That's great. He's really rich. So account siphons are not such a big deal anymore. No, you don't really care. I think at this point. Uh, I really wonder, like especially as an ND player myself, I would really wonder what what Heinzel is actually thinking. What his what his game plan is, because y you can see this board thing just escalate um, the board state escalating here. Yeah. And. Yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to contest this or are you going to try to win anyway? You're not see three points is not a moment to be like I'm gonna just go for you the win. You can't go crazy now. Yeah. So you need to keep trying to clear those bioethics. And then there's going to be another hostile infrastructure, but again, it costs costs uh, Shimko a lot of money. Yeah. Still trashing the bioethics at this point, so he is eager to take another meet da uh, net damage from hustle, trashing the hostile infrastructure. Yeah, you kind of have to wear. Is it worth an extra click to kind of go back and get the hostile first? Or? Oh, it's two extra because there is IG is also there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once you've seen the biofix and he's raised the hostile infrastructure, you could just jack out, go and trash the hostile infrastructure, yeah, take one of his, and then go again. But that's an extra click. Another extra know. clicks, and you have to yeah. also go back then again. Yeah. Ugh. 
I mean, you are getting Desperado credits a little bit, so yeah, and, and yes, in Farmers as well. Yeah, and so it's it's uh, you're getting credits, but on the other hand, it's um, it slows you down, and that's uh, the whole deal. Like the idea of IG is like keep you busy with the assets, and uh, until you give up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I think the win's going to be on R and D. Absolutely, R and D, or maybe HQ. Um, you can potentially snatch it from HQ as well. Because the agendas are not going anywhere. I mean, they might be installed somewhere randomly, but but that's kind of like a um, tricky situation. So okay. I think Shinko's drawn wow. a, a philotic entanglement, so that may go on the board disguised as an asset. Because uh, Hansel's not been checking. Unless yeah. something's rare, he's just kind of left it. So that, Yeah, because there's the there's uh, psychic think, field. Yeah, you might think, I'll just put out an agenda naked here that I can oh, score. 15 credits. So many account sites necessary to remove those credits. Because uh, that, that's the only out for um, for Andy, I feel, is to get down to zero credits and then start face-checking the all the face-down stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Friends in high places. Yo. So that's that's potentially a really good place to play for lots of entanglement, because then you put these hostiles out right front and center from the runner. Yeah. The runner thinks I've got to get rid of those and doesn't bother checking the other cards mm. you put down that turn. Yeah, so I mean, the, the win might be right there. And also, of course, we know that Shrimko is also playing the um, the neural MPs as well. Yeah, yeah, three hours. So uh, it's often you don't have as many cards as you think you have. I think there's no Bacata protocol in hand. Mm -hmm. I'm running on R&D though. Finally getting the last money from R&D. Uh, from uh, sorry, Temujin. So that'd be a good snipe for Heinzel because he's got his film critic. If you can find some like one avocado, then he's on six points. Yeah, and that would mean that he maybe he can go, be more aggressive. Yeah, then he just uh, has to find a, a, a house of knives or something lying about the place, and he's interesting. Heinzel decides to manually install the paperclip, maybe because with last click, last click he wants to run. Yeah, the other thing to sort of bear in mind is no, that he's thinking. Oh, he's not. He's <sighs> Difficult. Because this deck is so net damage intensive, sometimes they have an art lockdown. So. Okay, he gets credits with any, yes. Ah, right. Man, if he gets a third NES out, it's going to be four credits per click. That's pretty good. It is pretty close, but you've got to remember that he's having to pay money extra for the IG ability as well to trash things. Well, he won't be trashing stuff, it's just money to run on cent centrals, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully that's the plan. Still no multi access on on um, on Heinzel's side though. And that's very important, I think. Like you need some multi access, yeah. not too much multi access, just some. You need some, yeah. It's worth getting an extra card or two here and there when you can. Yeah. Right, bioethics are getting back because oh, this is now painful because if yeah. those bioethics, oh, they're actually being installed. Oof. Yeah, this is what I'm talking oh, about. Okay. Uh, so multi trash things is that you need to keep trashing the hostiles and the bioethics. This is where the grind begins. <laughs> yeah. Um, or you just take the damage. And Heinzel is still not far ahead enough to be like, I don't care about this, I'm just gonna, whatever, bro. Yeah, and the corpse got enough money now that resing a couple of hostiles is actually fine. Still be on 15 credits after that. Something you could actually do is run on Archives, actually, please. How many shocks were there, actually? Just uh, one, right? We know there's one, I think there's probably second now as well, because I saw another one in hand. Uh, but if you do that, then both hostile reses mean that you lose two net damage to trash one of them. Yeah, it's just, oh no. And so, let's, you know, let's not yeah. do that, let's not do that. It's, it's a silly... T okay, so, ah, like, oh, yes, that might hit, hit the Obayaka, Obakata Obakata, protocol. Yeah. That would be a really good... Oh, uh, there's Kaguya. Oh, I do like Kaguya. It's a pretty nasty, it's pretty yeah. nasty ice. It's only one strength, four to res, but every time you pass it, you take a net damage. It's nasty, like Shimko's playmat. And that's even if you're inside job or fam it or where else you still take it. Mm -mm, you cannot fam it. Oof. Oof. It doesn't seem to like Obayaka. Was it installed? Or did he just massively... I think he just missed it. Let's <sighs> what a... What a... Or it could be on the table. I might have missed it going I down. I mean, right why off. not? It's the best place to hide it right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think uh, Christopher is really glad, he is happy with himself. Oof. Okay, the, these weren't the worst cards to lose right now. No. <gasps> there is a fetal. That's all right. The question is, will you, you score it? You put it on film critic. I would. But, but, but the counters, the counters, man. Uh, well, how many cards have we got in hand? I don't know. Yes. Oh, maybe. Okay. You know there's at least one Neural oh, MP no, in hand. No, the medium, the medium. It is the medium that he lost. <laughs> this would have been important. Oh. Maybe the wrong choice after all. 
So is that point more five now is he on? <sighs> That's pretty good. Uh, Heinzel might might take it. He's two 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 points away, so he can go crazy now. Um, but I'm expecting a double by ethics res now, which are losing two cards. Yeah. Uh, you, I mean, generally you save your um, your LMPs for a kill, hmm. but just to try and slow him down, I might be tempted to use one here as Did, well. Wait a minute, he actually drew. What, what did, he doesn't have a counter on. on. He drew. He drew. He already drew. Wow. He just was looking for something. Maybe he wants to go now. He's gonna get. He wants to win now. Yeah, he wants to try and catch. The Nope. No. So yeah, he was drawing up so that if he was on the carter, he could just steal it there and then. Oh, this is going to be clutch. This is going to be clutch. Is, yeah. Heinzel got to the point now where he can take this game. Oh, no, Jesus. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a philotic entanglement yeah. score right there. I figured that'd be And down. that's going to be... Uh, Heinzel loses the first game, so we're going to have the grand finale, the, the big end finale. So I'm looking forward Great to that one. Boys. But we're going to do a small break, and we Good. see you in a second. Yeah, bye folks. And here is Christian after editing. Wow, I really love it when we get a second game from the finals and this is a perfect final here right now. Christopher Shimko against Heinzel. A legendary matchup and you certainly should not miss the second game of this. And in order to do that, you should probably subscribe to this channel and maybe even click on this little bell icon to let you know uh, that we released in the next video. So see you next time around. And as always, hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Hit on me.